Hey, what's up, guys? Dave Sipo in another video. And today we'll be comparing these two phones. I'm going to be comparing them in the speed test and full comparison. If you're not subscribed, help me subscribe. And if you end up liking what's in the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll be grateful for that. Right, so for the specifications that are necessary for the speed test, the S73 has this number gun 778G with AGB of RAM. And uh, the F83 5G right here has uh, AGB of RAM and uh, the Exynos 1280. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, check that. We have no apps in the background. Right, so let's start off with the speed test. Starting off with the phone. I think that will just slightly faster on the S73. By the guys, you can make your own judgments. That's the purpose of the video. Sometimes I miss out when I'm looking at the camera. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Contacts. I think that was S73. Settings. I think that's the tie. Camera. I think that's first on S73. Instagram. Okay, I think that's the S73 right there. No doubt about that. From S73 again. Play Store. S73. GG Thai YouTube Very slight difference, but I think the S73 has that Spotify S73 Fan Master Okay, I think that's the S73 again. Let's go ahead and check device performance right here so as you can see in master here the f83 actually does better when it comes to after editing because with the f83 you can do up to two layers of 2k video versus only three layers of 1080p on the s73 but i think that's down to an issue with support i think that's down to an issue with support on the s73 because it's not broken 778g that's what I've seen with uh, all the phones that are tested that have the 778G. They could only do up to three layers of 1080p. Yeah, I think it's something to do with optimization. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's for Kine Master. Let's move on to the next application. And that, that's Temporan. One, two, three, go. Okay, that's an actual tie. Let's go to the football. Okay, that was just slightly faster on the F83. Actually, when it comes to actual gameplay, you'd be better off with the F73. Yeah, just like I'm, I'm going to do a um, dedicated uh, gaming uh, review of the S73 right here. I've already done one for the F83 5G, but yeah, you guys should watch out for that coming up soon. Okay, so I think that's enough for the speed test. Now let's go to RAM management. Test and see. I want to just open random maps and see that they see whether they hold them in memory. Instagram. Okay, both of them have it in memory. From both have it in memory. Play store. Both have it in memory. The contacts. Both have it in memory. Phone. Both have it in memory. It's random. Spotify. They both have it in memory still. GG. Both have it in memory. Okay, master. Both have it in memory. Okay. Let's go back to the game. Football. Okay. Both have it in memory too. And lastly, temporal. Okay. So as you can see, both of them are very good when it comes to their yeah, run management. 
there's actually no difference and they have the same uh, exact RAM numbers EGP on each right so that's it for the speed test on these phones okay so we're moving on to the full comparison so the first thing I'll be comparing is the display here and the display is the I think the first obvious difference between these two phones the S73 right here is bigger yeah with the 6.7 inch display versus the 5 is it 6.5 inches on the even the 3 5G right here and uh the other difference in the display is actually is the colors you know the color temperature is actually very very different this tends the f 3 tends to be reddish and uh, this is cooler the a73 is cooler and uh if i was to pick one i think i would prefer the color temperature of the a73 but obviously you can adjust that in settings of either depending to your preferences yeah depending on what you want you can adjust that right so that's for the displays and uh for the brightness i think is similar I haven't noticed any differences. Maybe the other thing that you can look at is uh, the cutout is actually bigger on the S73 right here. Yeah. And uh, the other things I want to talk about is um, the haptics. So talking about the haptics, the haptics are very similar as well on these two phones. And uh, neither is really good, but they are very similar. And actually, when you're typing on the table on both of these, you just don't. It feels like it, there's no haptic motor at all. Like when you're typing on a table on a flat surface. Yeah, so the haptics on these are not really good. And if you're looking for good haptics on a phone, I think these are not the phones for you. Yeah, but they're okay and usable. Yeah, considering the prices, you know. Yeah, the other thing I want to compare is um the sound, the speakers. So the speakers are quite similar, but I'm going to be doing a dedicated video comparing the speakers on these two phones. And uh, the other thing I'll talk about is the fingerprints as well. I'm going to be comparing them. Yeah, in a separate video. But what I can say is, generally the A73's fingerprint scanner is faster, yeah, in my experience at least, yeah. I think I'll compare the cameras, so when it comes to the cameras, actually, I feel like the, the trade blows for the most part, but uh, the A53 produces sharper images, though its colors are more saturated, yeah. And then the A73 has less saturated images, but uh, they're cooler images, but uh, they're not as sharp, yeah, they sort of notice as the major difference between these two otherwise our trade blows for the most part much as this has a bigger sensor yeah but it doesn't make much of a difference anyway other than the colors and sharpness yeah that's about the cameras and uh, the other thing i'll talk about is battery life so in my usage i haven't really noticed a difference in the battery life for these two phones if anything the a53 may just be slightly better yeah but in my usage no i haven't really experienced anything major difference between these two yeah maybe for the charging they're the same 25 25 but what i've noticed is uh, on the a73 you can connect uh, for example a hard drive with an a53 you can sort of this has bigger power delivery from the what from the USB-C port right here so i think that's about that for this video guys thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out